Dave Fair for Legal Sports Report here at the G2E convention in Las Vegas. Charles joining us from IGT. Being a Vegas guy, I understand how big IGT is. Your warehouse is next to Pepsi's and it's like twice the size of it <laughs> here in Las Vegas. Uh, but, but what you guys are doing right now especially is really important to sports bettors around the world. Explain why. So IGT has been in the sports betting business for over a decade. Uh, it's a really important part of the gaming industry worldwide, except for here. Uh, and even in Nevada, actually, where it's been legal for many decades, it's never really been a major part of the business. In fact, uh, sports book operators are referred to as as being an amenity in the, in the in the property, which I think is a shame, because actually the potential has always been much bigger. But now, of course, since PASPA has been repealed, and already we've seen five or six states legalizing sports betting, it has become um, not just a, a really exciting uh, opportunity, but I think it's going to become as important to the entire gaming industry in the US uh, over the next five to ten years as it is everywhere else in the world. And that's a really exciting opportunity. And IGT wants to be there. You know, we have relationships with uh, nearly every casino in the US, and as well as lotteries and tracks and everybody, and therefore it's our job to be there for them to help them build a sports betting business. And you want to make it as friendly as possible for the consumer as well. Obviously, business to business is important, but I'm, I'm seeing some of the things that you have here even on the floor at G2E, and as just a consumer, a guy that likes betting on sports, yeah. it's pretty exciting stuff. Well, look, the secret to a successful sports book is uh, looking after the customer. And I know that people say that and it's a bit of a cliche, but the reality is that if you make it difficult to access, if you make it complicated, if you make people line up for half an hour to place a wager 20 minutes before the beginning of the game, uh, you're going to have a problem. And so the challenge for us, and actually frankly for all of the casinos that want to be operating sports betting, is how to integrate the user uh, experience into the rest of their business. So, you know, you can't expect casinos around the country to suddenly rip out their slot floor and replace it with a Vegas-style sports book. But at the same time, they want to make sports betting a great experience inside the property that uh, is attractive so that people are going to want to go in there on game day. They're going to want to go in there during March Madness. They're going to want to use the whole of the benefit of all of the other properties and still do that whilst delivering an excellent sports betting service. And that's actually quite a difficult challenge. And we think that the solution lies in uh, having a whole variety of uh, tools that the, the, the casinos, our customers can use, ranging from kiosks that you sit down at so that you can, you can see the game on the screen and wager on it at the same time, to another device that can be just put up against the wall. And you walk up, you put cash in, you check your bet, you take the ticket and you walk away. Um, as well as, I don't think this is the thing that's most exciting to me, is what we're calling the mobile kiosk. Where you, uh, you pay money for a voucher, and then you have your mobile device, and you can walk around anywhere in, in the casino and place bets whilst you're there. And then at the end, you just take the ticket back and get your money out. And that's incredibly exciting, and it works for everybody. So we're going to be... We're going to be evolving very quickly over the next few years and it's getting a lot of feedback from customers and frankly, we'll try some stuff that won't work and we'll, we'll get better at it. But you know, ultimately, we want to make sure that all of our customers can give their players an experience which works for them. And if we do that, everything will be good. Well, one of the applications that you mentioned, one of the innovations rather for sports books is having those personalized windows that they can sit out and actually watch the game yeah. and place bets while it's going on. So if you think about going to a traditional sports books, uh, you, you'll see one of those windows and it's got horse races on it and that's sort of the end of it. Yeah. Now it's you can actually sit there and place your bets and beyond that, you can actually see a lot of the stats as well based yeah. on what you're betting on so you're not just blindly making wagers. Yeah. It really not just gives you an opportunity to place wagers in a much more convenient way, but it gives you a lot more information too, which I think right. obviously in 2018 is something that the customers now demand. Yeah, information is key to uh, great sports betting content. So I think it's all about um, being in the action, but also being able to apply your expertise, your knowledge, your understanding of what you think is going on on the game in the game versus what the data is telling you and then look at the prices and you think to yourself maybe the maybe the book is wrong right i think there's a good price there in make, making that bet and of course the the best thing is that it introduces properly 
the concept of in-play wagering. So, you know, in the rest of the world, in Europe for it particularly, in-play wagering is now uh, 80, 90% of the handle, which is incredible. And what it means is that um, people want to bet as an entertainment. And with these terminals and with the mobile solution and even with the kiosk, the idea that you can bet on almost um, everything that's happening in the game as it happens is incredibly exciting. So uh, we're moving the whole thing on and I know that the whole of the industry is trying to do this. And uh, like you say, it's about providing convenience, but also you want to make sure that every person that walks into the casino to play sports betting can also have that experience at the same time. And that's, a, that's, that's when the challenge is. But I think it's going to be amazing and people are going to love it. And it's going to become such a, a regular part of the casino experience that in a couple of years, people will have forgotten what it was like not to have sports betting. What is it like for you being on the back end of this for so many years and working away at it and finally seeing it come to fruition? Like at the Golden Knights games here in Las Vegas, they can sit in the T-Mobile Arena yeah. and they can actually place wagers on the game now in New Jersey. Yeah. The football games, like this is all finally starting to happen after so many years of anticipating it. I know, it's amazing actually when the, on the day that the Supreme Court decision came down, um, I, I just, I actually stood there, came up on my phone and I just stood there for about, must have been two minutes. It felt like an hour thinking, well, the whole world has just changed. You know, we've been talking about it for, certainly talking about it for at least a year. And every sentence that I said seemed to start with the phrase, if PASPA is repealed, you know, and then when it happened, then it happened in such a decisive way. It was pretty clear there and then that, that this was gonna be the most amazing change in the in the gaming industry for, that anyone has seen in their lifetimes. Um, and like I said, I think it's going to change everything. It's not just about sports betting, it's about the whole way that people interact with casinos and what they expect from the entertainment when they when they go in there. Thanks for sharing us some of the IGT vision as well as what you guys have been up to. Look forward to what the next couple of years are going to bring. Oh, it's amazing. And honestly, anybody who tells you that they know what it's going to look like in two years isn't looking hard enough. <laughs>